With the win today, the Bobcats will move to 7-4 on the season and 4-2 and in SLC play. But it may also be the key to saving a woman's life who is suffering from breast cancer as all proceeds will go to the Central Texas Medical Center here in Hayes County. Now I'm Alex Heathman. Also today you'll hear student reactions to all the election campaigning at Texas State. Texas State hosted the Nichols State Colonels last week at Jim Wacker Field on Senior Day. The rivalry game known as the Battle for the Paddle marked the 27th overall meeting between the two schools. The Bobcats would trail at the end of the first but would respond with a huge 24 point second quarter. Texas State's first touchdown came when junior quarterback Bradley George connected on a 26-yard touchdown pass to the senior receiver Cameron Luke. After a fumble by the Colonels, the Cats would strike again. The Bobcats' final score of the second quarter would come with four minutes remaining when George would hook up with running back Carrington Bush on a wide-open 29-yard touchdown catch and run. At the half, the Bobcats would lead 24-3. Texas State would score one more touchdown early in the third quarter when George finds his big tight end, the senior John Gilly, for his first career touchdown at Texas State. Bradley George would finish the game throwing for 136 yards and three touchdowns. With the win today, the Bobcats would move to 7-4 on the season and 4-2 and in SLC play. They would also mark the first home win here at Bobcat Stadium for the Bobcats. Texas State's defense also had a lot to be proud about in this game holding Nickel State to only 10 points and under 250 yards of total offense. Junior defensive end Travis Houston led a strong charge for the Bobcats, which included 12 tackles, this sack, and recovered two fumbles. Courtney Smith also had a great game, recording 10 tackles, with two of them being for a loss. Afterwards, head coach Brad Wright talked about the game and the performance from his defense. Well, I think we had a good plan, obviously, and, you know, um, uh, Coach Blyle and his staff did a great job uh, getting that together for us. There's no doubt about it. And, uh, you know, I, I know what it's like to travel from, uh, you know, in the, in the re reverse direction from from here to Nichols. It's a tough trip. So, uh, you know, maybe that had a little bit to do with it. But I tell you what, our defense played well. It's a tribute to our, our coaching staff. They, they had a heck of a plan for stopping the option, no doubt. Final score of the game, Bobcats 34, Colonels 10. The Bobcats now travel to Sam Houston State this Saturday. A win and the Bobcats will be back in NCAA Division II playoffs for the first time since 2005. Reporting for Bobcat Update, I'm Alex Heathman. The Outlet Mall is raising funds for Central Texas Medical Center's lymphedema therapy program. Tangra Outlet General Manager Michelle Carswell says the stores are trying to promote awareness and raise some money. San Marcos uh, Tangra Outlet Center has selected Central Texas Medical Center to serve as our beneficiary organization and for only a dollar donation um, each consumer will receive a savings of 25 percent off any single select item. Last year the Tangra Outlet Mall raised more than six hundred thousand dollars to help fund research to find a cure for breast cancer. The campaign is being called Tanger Pink and most of the stores are involved. Breast cancer survivor Patricia Yant likes the pink card concept and the benefits it brings. Just a dollar goes to breast cancer. And a dollar you might think just a dollar, but a dollar goes a long way in research study. The Tanger Shop at Pink shopping card may be good for shoppers as it saves them 25% on any single item at participating stores but it may also be the key to saving a woman's life who is suffering from breast cancer as all proceeds will go to the Central Texas Medical Center here in Hayes County. For Bobcat Update, I'm Alex Heathman. In other action around the association, the Phoenix Suns hit the road to take on the Indiana Pacers. The Pacers would jump out to an early lead as Marquise Daniels knocks down the three to give the Pacers a three to two lead. Then Travis Diener comes off a screen right here, takes it to the hole for the off-balance layup and good heads up play right here by Jared Jack to steal the inbound pass. Knocks down the jumper as the quarter would come to an end. The second half would begin with a tip pass from Amari Stoudemire over to Steve Nash. Then, Sna then Nash returns the favor with an alley-oop to Stoudemire as he throws it down. Then Amari gets the ball on the, the left elbow and drives it to the hole and throws down a huge dunk over Texas State alum Jeff Foster right there. The Suns would go on to win the game by the final score of 113-103.